Chinese leader Xi Jinping held a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Microsoft CEO Bill Gates this week, who he called an old friend of the communist nation. This as Secretary of State Blinken is expected to arrive in China this evening to dampen tensions between the two superpowers. Former Deputy National Security Advisor and American Conservative Union Board Member KT McFarlane joins us now. KT, so great to have you on this morning. Uh, let's talk about this, because Bill Gates went to meet with, with Xi Jinping, and now he's going to meet with, uh, uh, with Blinken. Who is, are the Chinese most excited about meeting with? Not the American Secretary of State, I'll tell you that. The Chinese, their economy is sluggish, they have high youth unemployment, so they really want to foster good relations with American tech executives, American businessmen, American billionaires. And so that's why they've not just Gates, but they've met with Elon Musk, they've met with Tim Cook of Apple, they've met with a number of other senior officials um, in the business world in the United States. So that's their objective. Now, American Secretary of State, the Chinese have already done a diplomatic spit in the face. What have they done? So last week, the Secretary of State, Chinese Foreign Minister, had a phone call. At the end of the phone call, they always have a press release called a readout. And so the American Secretary of State did what, you know, everybody's done for decades, said, oh, we look forward to our meeting. The Chinese had a very different conversation with their press release. They said, we're going to lecture the Americans. We have these core interests. We expect the Americans to do this, to do that. So the Chinese are already putting America on notice. They're going to humiliate you. We're going to you know, ride roughshod over you. We're going to insult you. And yet you're still coming. Yeah, I mean, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I mean, all they have to do is look at the way Donald Trump handled China to get a blueprint of what works. Everything they're doing just puts us in a worse position. You know, it, it, it's an important point to make because in Asia, there's something called losing face, gaining face. And the Chinese are experts at this. And what they, it's like macho, it's like macho on steroids. So what the Chinese are going to do is bring the American Secretary of State over. He's, they're going to insult him. They're going to humiliate him. And then China's going to look like, oh, well, we're the really powerful country. We're the country that's a rising power. Look at those Americans. They have to come on bended knee to come to Beijing to even have a meeting with us. So they're going to then push further and further and further. All the insults and all the aggressions the Chinese have had in the last couple of weeks and months from cutting off American battleships in the South China Sea and the, and the Taiwan Strait to the spy balloon to the spy base in Cuba. And the Chinese are just pushing, pushing, pushing. They're getting no pushback, so they keep pushing, pushing. But the other thing is that the message this sends, especially to the Indo-Pacific countries, is, hey, look, we're going to ask you to choose who do you want to support in the next couple of years. Which side are you going to go on, the rising Chinese powerful country or that declining America? And, you know, if in a meeting like this, it's going to be pretty obvious. Well, America looks like we're in decline. China looks like they're on the rise. I guess I better go with China. And that is the choice that many countries are making, even in our own yep. hemisphere, which is frightening. Yes. Um, KT McFarland, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure and an honor. Thank you, Rachel. You got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.